Hey guys, it's me Dawn. Uh, today I am going to be showing, sharing with you what I just recently purchased from the Goodwill. Um, so let's get into it. Um, <clears throat> so some of it I bought for like my brother, for my daughter. Um, and so it's like, there's a little bit of everything in here. So this hoodie here <clears throat> all this we I usually just like wash so this is just like you know you know what I'm saying like we just came from it but it's a fox hoodie uh it's um like this blue this is my brother's so I'm gonna throw that over there and then <clears throat> I if you know me I'm like a little bit of com I like comfy slash um like casual clothes most of the time like that's all I ever wear unless I have to like go somewhere so I found this um I don't even know what the name of it is it's from uh, Dan Skin Now which I'm assuming it's like just like a Walmart brand just like this cute little <clears throat> like workout hoodie I guess um and um some of the like I went to this one the one Goodwill that we have is really really huge well we have a few of them but this the one that I like to go to it's huge it's got like a career center then it's got like a place where you can pay by the pound and then there's also just the normal retail side so some of it came from the um pay by the pound and then the others came from the retail which I'm gonna do the retail last so that you'll know and I've got four bags here so we're got a lot of clothes <clears throat> And this I got for my daughter. It says LOL on it and it's got cheetah print and it's very adorbs. And she was just like, Mommy, I want it. I gotta have it. And then this one is from Air Apostle. Like the little kids section. This is great for the winter time, I thought. You know, this is a little bit big, but she'll end up <clears throat> being able to wear it before you know it. Now this I got for myself it is a pink kind of zipped up from me inspired and it just zips up it's like it's just like a you know it zips up it doesn't have a hoodie on it I'm, neither one of these has hoodies so but i like to wear those things those types of things for like like you know when i'm like cold or something but i'm not like crazy crazy cold so and then lastly i got these um like pants from Mountain Lake Sport. I don't know where that's from, but it's just these little like, um, almost kind of like windbreakers in a way, but they're very light feeling and I figured I could wear them in the summertime or just like lounging around the house or something. Okay, in this bag, <clears throat> these are all my daughter's stuff. She got a little white tiger meal and I don't know why she got a beaver, but she got a little beaver guy and then I got this which I had this book a while a while ago and I'm really like into all of these like hauntings in my hometown and this is called Haunted Asheville and um I remember getting or having this book a long 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 time ago and I would read it and read it like front to back and like constantly like when I was younger like um <clears throat> let me see when this was copyrighted copyrighted 96 so like I remember like I was very young I was like seven or eight when I had this book but I looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and I could never find it and I was gonna like order another copy of this um but you know what I'm gonna do I was thinking about like doing like um like ho like um ghost stories from my hometown like that I like to talk about basically um so um so yeah you know it's um you know I think that would be very interesting to do so I mean yeah definitely um this lady right here is the pink lady I might start with her because she is such a interesting sort of um, story to talk about. <clears throat> so, I don't know. If you're interested in that, leave a, like, you know, give it a thumbs up or, you know, comment 
on my Instagram or Snap or wherever you decide or hell even Twitter tw tweet me and say hey will you do you know local haunted stories in your hometown and you know I want to see how many people are interested in it because I am very interested in ghost stories like I very have been into it for a long time like I love stories about haunted stuff like I watched a lot of like people going into haunted places and try to see if they can stir up some ghost activities I don't know so this bag I got this cute little bag it's just it just says era you know it's from um air apostle but I thought this would be really neat to like have for like my daughter when she's like wanting to carry some stuff around when we go places um and then I got this dress I'm not going to try any of this stuff on but I got this really long dress I'm just going to show you the, the front of it um but it's really long it like it's really really long I figured I could like wear this to church or just wear this like just whenever I'm like feeling like not wearing the pants or anything like that <laughs> I don't know. And then I got a black one too. I got like a black um, dress as well. Um, this one is just like one of those ones that is kind of asymmetrical. I don't know what you would call that, but it's like one side's longer than the other. So I thought that was really cool. I've never had a dress like that. So like I'm going to see how, I mean, I liked it. I was intrigued about it. So I got this pretty pink bra. Usually I don't get any. This is the thing. Usually I don't get underwear from like the Goodwill unless it's like brand new and tags, tags are still on it. But I thought I could clean it up. This is from Victoria's Secret too. So I figured why not. I mean Victoria's Secret from what I heard. Um, like their older bras were really really good. <sighs> I've heard but I'm not like. But it's really pretty. It's got this like really pale pink. Um lace on it and stuff like that so I got that it is um I think it's like a cup size too big if, if I believe believe it or not yeah it's a D and I'm a C I don't have big boobies for a big chick I don't have big boobies which is like really 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 really, really odd but <clears throat> it's just the life of me like if I lost all this weight I would be completely flat chested so so yeah so this I was excited this is my by the way um and this is hello kitty this is an original hello kitty like what she you know she just you know like i seen her in the cartoon and i thought she was adorable i'm gonna like throw her in the wash and clean her up though and make her look all brand new and stuff so i'm really excited about that so this um next um bag came from the actual retail so I had to like this all came up to like $16 like all this stuff that I showed you another thing that I got was um over at the the way place the boy by the pound is a actual doll house like a big doll house like a Barbie dream house sort of thing and all together I think it was like um 15 or 16 dollars somewhere around there so I mean going over there is a lot cheaper than going over here because I had, I only got a few things and I think I went just about that that amount over there so um the first thing I have are these um target pants um they were 375 so they look like that they're just like some you know little cut off like looks like they're like cut off slip pants but they're really not and they've got pockets on it so that was a plus it's like a bonus bonus for me because um I always like to throw like myself one in my pocket when I'm around the house or something and then this one I got another bra over here I don't even know what the brand of this is called and this is a 40d so this will fit me a little bit more comfortably but it'll just be a little bit big on my titties my boobies but I just needed a basic black bra that's just why I got it um I spent five dollars on this I spent 375 on these shorts here <clears throat> so five dollars for these um I noticed like I don't know if it's any anybody else's um goodwills are like this but I've noticed that like I can go to a normal store and get it for about the same price okay 
so these I usually don't wear a lot of shorts in the summertime I usually just like wear like um capri yoga pants or like those kind of pants or they're like sweatpants or something like that or like some like um capri like denim stuff but I did break down and these are brand spanking new these are from uh, I want to say these were from Target um like brand but they're like kind of like these like dark denims but they're like acid wash and they're supposed to be high waisted or high rise short shorts so I'm not gonna wear my short shorts I'm gonna like put them below my belly button if I can I spent $3.75 on these and I can't remember like I think I looked these up and they were like $25 brand new when they first came out so I don't know we'll see how I like those I am kind of nervous because of the fact that they are a little short so I'm gonna have to get used to that so this bag I only spent a dollar on but it is so freaking adorable y'all like the only reason why I got it was because I used to be in theater a lot and I used to like like I know the majority of these plates if you can see there's all kinds I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it but there's like I mean on each side it's like that and it's like a plastic filling so like you know if you like spill something on this it, easy to clean the handles pretty large but it, to me it looks like I'm actually just gonna fold this because that's how it was folded down but on this side <clears throat> like they're the sides are like you know just um, they're both the same but I see like um Let's see, I see um, Brooklyn, I see Coarse Line, Les Mis, Crybaby, Legally Blonde, uh, Rent, Lion King, Wicked, um, Little Women, The Little Mermaid, Jersey Boys, Little Shop of Horrors, Tarzan, Beauty and the Beast, Build Around the Roof, Dracula. I'm just showing you the ones that I actually, um, um, know and I've seen already. Beauty and the Beast, Sweeney Todd, um, Phantom of the Opera, Young Frankenstein, Co The Color Purple, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Mamma Mia, Chicago, um, let's see, Mary Poppins, Hairspray, Chicago, did I say Chicago already in my tab? Uh, The Wedding Singer, which, that's like based off a movie, I'm assuming, but, but yeah, there's all sorts of these, like, cool things. Let me see if there's any that I know that... I didn't say but I really like was like oh my god I gotta have this it was <clears throat> it was crazy because I found like a coach purse in there and it was pink and the inside was like really really purple and stuff but like the leather was peeling and I'm not getting anything with the leather peeling I mean I could get it like re like fixed or whatever like I can go out and get somebody to like actually re redo it and everything but I just decided I wasn't so this if you know me I'm a huge golf fan like I'm wearing the school shirt right now and I found this it is like a very shiny skull and I'm assuming he's supposed to light up but I don't care if he lights up or not I will sit him like just to chill out but you know I was like I was looking around to see if maybe there was some other colors because I was thinking well I'll get like a pink one or I'll get like a black one or, or whatever but they only had this guy which I just picked him up because I thought he was so cool and he was only a dollar as well because he's like he's very light and like hollow and I don't know like it was originally ten dollars like look there's even the price I want to show you it says it's ten dollars originally and I got it for a dollar so I was like well I only spent 10% of what it was really priced <laughs> but um but yeah I was like yay you know like I was so excited because I had found um I found a really cool skull while I'm there look he's as big his head it's as big as my head too which I guess it's supposed to be like life size but I mean a lot of people ask me well is this for Halloween and I'm like no bitch I love skulls so much that I like have them out all year long like no matter if it's Halloween or not like and Halloween is my favorite season just because I can go it's easier for me to find skull things and 
also dark creepy things as well but yeah that's that that's all she wrote um but yeah that is everything oh my god you guys like i want to show you the um the pile of stuff over here yeah that is that is it so um I hope that you like this little Goodwill haul, um, and if you want to see more of these, you know, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see me do like a Dollar Tree haul or any other kind of haul, let me know down in the comment section below or anywhere, then, um, yeah, let me know and comment down below and give this a thumbs up and I'll do more videos like this, okay? Bye!